Whew, that was quite a hike. Okay, hello everyone. Welcome back to Let's Play Call of the Sea. So, apparently Nora's been hiking for quite some time and now we're being drenched in rain and we're on the side of a mountain. A mountain of basalt. It's so far up, it's actually above the clouds. Who'd have thunk, huh? Alright. More of that broken U-shaped sign we've been seeing a bit. I've been seeing these horseshoe-shaped pillars all the way up. Do they mark a path? A path to fate, Nora. It is inescapable. I'm at the top of the mountain. I can see that giant diamond-shaped thing really close from here. Okay. Well, good to know. <sighs> Took me a while to get here, but the views are worth it. Views are worth it. Along with being sopping wet, I'm sure. They built all this? Just with pieces from the beached ship. Frank sure must be a real whiz. Yes, he's clearly an all-in-one engineer. He can do it all, can't he? Oh, we got something back here. Looks like a sneaky snapshot. She doesn't look at all happy. No, our glorious reporter does not. What do we have here? I'll have to use the ship's turbine and juggle with the things I got from the ship to make this work. Let's see if I managed to power the whole set just with the scarce materials that I have. Hmm, something about a turbine. Make what work? Power the whole set? What? What's he talking about? Harry is convinced the answer to my illness lies inside that temple. Temple, Black Ooze, and Nora's illness. Got to open that door. Nakal? So, this is like Atlantis, but in the Pacific Ocean, right? According to the legend that said the continent Mu sank into the Pacific thousands of years ago, its massive stone structure is generally irregular in shape, contrasted with the unique use of diamond shapes. This is reminiscent of other rhomboid symbols, such as the losange or the Hindu Lakshmi star. However, experts believe that in the, the specific case of the Nikal structures, instead of representing fertility and prosperity, the rhombus was a sign of transformation and evolution. Hmm, interesting. They built loudspeakers on top of this tower to reproduce the effect of the organ. Very clever, old pal. Ah, so that's what this tower is. It's essentially, it's an electric organ. Reproducing the effect of the organ. Loudspeakers. Generator. Curious. His low spirits are obvious in this photo. What was wrong with Frank? He looks so thin. Yes, indeed. Well, the reporter is holding a book of Moby Dick by Herman Melville. Don't know why, but apparently she has time to read that. Okay, whatever. Well, let's see what's up here. If we can do anything with it. Her gloves look like they're becoming discolored. They got kind of a greenish hue to them. That is a doornail. Well, it's the usual. Yeah. You didn't think it would be that easy, did you? Yep, we do have to find a way to power it, or to get power to it. 
Alrighty. Well, let's keep uh, looking around. There was a path back here. Let's see what, where it leads, where it goes. These drops of rain are so refreshing. Feels really good. Well, it is a tropical island. I imagine it's pretty uh, warm and humid there. You know, being close to Tahiti. Are these figures singing like a choir? Yeah, they're singing, and it looks like you got a door there that's opening, maybe? Hmm. I wonder what that could mean. Some stairs leading up. It's back here. Heavens, looks like a rock slide crushed all the tents. All but one. A torn picture. Maybe the Polynesian guy didn't like people taking pictures of his scar. Okay. The only tent that came out of the rock slide in one piece is the one filled with amulets. Hmm. Coincidence? Or just circumstance? Who knows? Another campfire. Got some symbols up there. I wonder what those mean. Mr. Franklin Drayton Jr., 12th Street, 12 Grant Street, Mound Bayou, Mississippi. Dear Mr. Drayton, we acknowledge receipt of your letter of July 30th, enclosing your application for admission to our School of Engineering. I'm sorry to inform you that we are not authorized to consider a colored person for admission. I regret that we cannot help you in this regard. Yours truly, John R. Bedford, Director of Admissions, University of... Doesn't say. Well, this is the 1930s, and there's still heavy segregation, right? Jim Crow laws and all that, so... Yeah, I mean, as, as unfair as it is, that was the, that's the unfortunate history of it. Except Frank in the university. They should be ashamed. They should be ashamed. I'm glad you're so progressive, Nora. But alas, you may have heard there's this thing called racism in the United States. All right, we got our first clue. Let's take a look at the log here. All right, let's see. Let's read. Uh, let's read some of our missing notes. I found the other letters Harry wrote in the island. On the island he, now, I know he's gone through a lot, <laughs> and it seems to be affecting him deeply. I wonder why I'm I'm not experimenting any of the sensation. I think that means it's been to say experiencing any of the sensations Harry did. I do not know, I do I don't know how to explain it but my sensation isn't that this island is dangerous puzzling yes perplexing definitely maybe even unearthly but not dangerous I carefully studied the notes the expedition left behind and I managed to make it work the organ played a haunting tune and some pillars of basalt rose up from beneath the sea what a spectacular sight what did they use it for the final notes of the organ moved a gigantic stone moved a gigantic stone structures moved gigantic stone structures before my eyes, showing me a mountain peak where a temple was. That must be where Harry was headed. Harry managed to activate the organ. He revealed something at the top of the mountain, another temple maybe, and intended to build some sort and he intended to build some sort of machine up there. As the sun rose, a light rain started. I'm almost at the top of the mountain, where the giant stone structure that the organ is revealed is. The expedition built a strange metallic structure at the summit in front of what seems to be an ancient stone temple. The members of the expedition used materials from the beach ship to build this structure. Harry intended to open the stone door with all those contraptions, but how? Frank, the engineer, seems pretty thin and weak in the pictures. He looks like he's very sick. Maybe crowds used to gather in this place to sing certain music to open that door. The rock slide crushed all the tents in the camp except the one that was protected with amulets. One thing that does kind of bother me is that you could find a lot of the clues and things like that, and Nora subsequently writes in her journal about these things, but the problem is that they don't occur sequentially. And, I mean, if you did that, it would make the game just literally just railroad you from one thing to the next, so it's kind of understandable given that you can find things out of order, but the problem there is that, like, y you end up with these weird gaps in the narrative in Nora's log when it would, it, 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 you know, nobody writes like that, you know? 
it's not like you write a middle of the story and then go back and fill in the little things, but I don't I mean, you, you could do that, but I mean, just it's not a sensible way to keep a journal, right? All right, we got another thing there, another mural. Notice they have different symbols there at the top. We got these sound equipment here. So I guess you used the notes from the organ and they weren't the right ones. I am so stupid. Such an arrogant idiot that Rockslide could have killed everybody. And all thanks to my stubbornness. Alright. Can you turn it on, Cass? Please, sir. We should not do this. Not now. Haven't we had enough warning, Mr. Everhart? What else do we need? Another death? Listen to me. Frank lost his life setting this whole thing up. So we're not going to discuss it anymore. We're going to activate it, period. Is that clear enough for you? Hey, hey, Marl! Pine, same to you! Please, Cass, activate it. Well, it seems that that rock slide was caused by these sounds. Problem is, Harry had screwed it up somehow. Got some more of those symbols down here. There's a symbol inside. Strange symbols in the empty pool. Let's see, when Harry turned the sound system on, he probably did something wrong, and that caused a rock slide. You know, the funny thing is that if Nora is still searching for Harry, then it would seem to imply that he's made it further, because we haven't found his body or anything, so apparently he did succeed in all- There are some sort of sound devices built around this amphitheater. Homemade loudspeakers, probably to amplify the sound. So yeah, we anyway, we're on Harry's trail, and yet it seems like every step of the way he has failed at some point, right? He keeps struggling to do this and that, and yet he still seems to be progressing. So he's obviously having some success with these contraptions. Like he figured out a way to, to open this thing using sounds. He's figured out a way to do this and that and the other, you know, and as is evidenced in our journal. So, I mean, he's not, he's basically trying until he figures it out, apparently. All right, and another mural with another different symbol at that. That's worth noting, you can press these. And they go black. But the thing is, we don't know how to, what, in what order to press them. It looks like there's another one over here. Okay, that's our fourth one. Well, let's just keep moving on. We have this area. Oh, no. Frank died. Oh. Frank had a daughter named Evangeline. What a darling. Well, alas, Frank will be missed, our great and glorious engineer. Oh, I'm so sorry. He was such a talented man. And he seemed to be a good friend of Harry's. Well, it seems he was killed in that rock slide there. We got more symbols up there. The water seems to be coming up from behind that stone. That slab, if you will. 
What have we here? It's a turbine to generate electricity under the falling water. But the stream isn't close enough to the wheel. Blood soaked rags. A Bible. It must have belonged to Frank. He thought it was a flesh wound, but it kept getting worse. I tried to do something with this wound from Dr. DeWitt's attack. No wonder what I do, it still looks infected. I feel worse every day. <sighs> no power. Nope, no power. And what have we here? These levers connect those gears to direct the wheel's energy into the turbine. Mm, yeah, so this is obviously a water wheel. It's connected to these gears and connected to this turbine, which probably supplies power, but the, like she said, the waterfall is not turning the water wheel, so we got to figure out what to do here. Well, if we look, those are the same symbols as we see right here. So, and we see different symbols on each of these uh, murals that we took. The structure Harry's crew built is powered by a hydroelectric generator, but the waterfall isn't powerful enough to move the wheel. Frank's health seems to be getting worse, and he finally died. It's so sad. Such a good man. All right, there's a sort of amphitheater here where Harry and his crew built a complex sound system. Well, that would seem to hint that we got to figure out a way to get that generator working. So, we know that each of these murals has a different little uh, symbol in the diamond here. And we see different diamonds here. Now, this configuration of diamonds is much like we have here. So maybe if we press the appropriate diamond that each of these murals corresponds to, then we can get something to work there. So this one is that diamond with the little line going down with the little vertical line on the right side. And so that would be the top diamond for this one. This mural has two circles, one open at the top and one closed at the bottom, and that corresponds to the rightmost diamond here. This mural has the diamond with the horizontal line and the short vertical line through the center that corresponds to the bottom one. And this one down here, although it's tilted, I mean, assuming it still works, though, has the diamond with the uh, short curved line on the left side. That corresponds to Do these this one. Stone columns just vibrate? Amazing. The hatches are opening. The hatches are opening! The hatches are opening! Oh my god, and it's letting water f flow out. So, if it opened that side, then suspect it opened the other side as well. Well, let's see. I'm hearing a noise, too. A slow, like, low rumbling or droning noise. Ah, yes, see, it is now turning the water now wheel. The wheel is moving. Yes, that's what I said. Well, let's see if we can't get this to work, huh? The levers are still stuck to the gears. If we go around to the back side, there's this. If we press the button, it moves the gears in different directions. If we move one of these so the cir the open circle is at the bottom, so then we'll see if that works. 
Ah, it engaged. So essentially it's acting kind of like a clutch for the gears, if you will. And when you first encounter this particular puzzle, you just have to do it until you figure it out. It's not hard, right? So the, as we see, the circles only move in the four directions, right? North, west, south, and east. So you do the first one, then you do the second one. Position it so the circle is on the bottom. And engage it. And now we'll do the last one. Just to prove it, if you put it in any other position, it doesn't work. Ego. There we go. Put it in the down position. Let me check some. So yes, indeed. So once you pull that lever, the gear moves over, and this uh, this rod here, this axle that the gear is on, goes through that wheel. Therefore, locking the axle in place, and the gear will engage with the other gears. Well, you know they say if you can't find it, grind it. Huh? That was easy. All right. So. Got the water wheel moving, got the gears all connected, got the turbine moving. Now, how do we do this? These buttons seem to adjust the amount of energy that goes through the turbine. Yes, I mean, unfortunately, there isn't any other way to solve this than just start pressing buttons. But, if we notice we press one button, it'll light up the ones around it. So... We press that one there. So that means we can press this one and it'll light up the surrounding ones and light up all the buttons. That should give the turbine some energy. Okay, it seemed to engage these um I think they're solenoids or something. Anyway, lights on. I finally opened the water hatch and now the waterfall is carrying a lot of water, enough to move the turbine's wheel. But it seems the generator needs a bit of a uh, tune-up. Okay. Well, now we got power to this thing. Let's switch her on. Great. I did it. Now everything should be powered. All right. Well, that got power. Now we can just activate it. More pretty waterfalls. Nice green, lush grass. I'm really sorry about Frank. Harry doesn't have many friends. When you finally do get to know him, he's so witty, so funny. A loving person. But it takes a lot for him to open up. All right, we need to hit the switch boxes. There's one up here, I believe. Here we go. Oh, what? Did I do something wrong? Come on, work. Come on. Yes. Ah! Now what? What's happening this time? Well, last we saw, we fell off the tower after a power surge, and now we're in some dry, arid desert with a bunch of skeletons of some sea creatures or something around us. I can feel the fever rising. Oh, God, no. My illness. Is it coming back? Is this an ocean? An ocean that dried up. It appears that way. Question is, what was this thing? That obviously died a long time ago. Uh, my kid. 
Kane. Ah, yes, right there. No, I would rather die than use that damned thing again. Good for you. You go, girl. All right, soldiering on. Let's just keep pushing forward, I guess. Did I think I was going to die lying in this bed? Nora, you were obviously having some kind of strange fever dream. I'd better find some shade before I dry right up. Or stone obelisks, U shaped. The horseshoe shaped pillar. Yeah. And that diamond shape again. I can't take much more of this. I feel woozy. Well, that looks strange. That doesn't look like it belongs here. Is that... a house? Nope, the color palette is changing it's again. A house? That's our house in Inglewood. Am I dreaming? Or am I just losing my mind? Nora, you're in the middle of a Lovecraftian adventure. You're losing your mind. That's our mailbox, too. We appear to be underwater now. There's fishies, there's bubbles. How interesting. 506, yep, it's the Everhart house for sure. Uh, Harry? Uh, are you home? This is very strange. I miss you so much, old pal. I am definitely losing my mind. Yes, that's what I said. I don't understand what is happening, Harry. Are you... Well, we've exited the water now. Nothing's floating. <laughs> Checkmate in three moves. Well, we knew from the uh, prequel that Nora and Harry were doing a little long-distance game of chess. Harry gave me this necklace after one of his scavenger hunts. During Christmas time, obviously. It's a photo of my mother and me. She had just gotten worse from her illness. The happiest day of my life. And one of... The happiest day of my life. And one of the few pictures of Harry without his glasses. Well, I can't blame a guy for being self-conscious. You know, it is, his, it is the wedding. Okay. Wants to look more handsome, not like a nerd. Got one of those amulets there. Hat. The 
same radio clock at 10.08 interesting thingamajobber my mother's music box yet again oh wait we got something here the Everhart Tucson. what a duo singing on the piano of course what's this Yantley. Greetings from Yantley. Where's that? Cousin Robert? But I don't have any cousins. Wish you were here, Cousin Robert. Hmm, that's strange. She doesn't have any cousins. Well, this music box has come up again, so... Yeah, let's see. What's going on here? What a sweet melody. Well, the music box has a mermaid in it. Another possible hint about what's going on. dream and my music box again but it wasn't broken anymore and what a catchy tune well we're back in the world the real world here i've lived more in these last two days than in the previous six years with my illness i'd forgotten about the kind of person i am i might not be daring but i am determined love gave me strength but it also gave me something to lose. Well, we got the water flowing here. Now that it's filled with water, it looks like a baptismal pool. Yes, indeed. Wow, this door looks thicker than any I've ever seen. Well, we gotta figure out a way to get this open. Let's hit the power here. Well, that seems to have activated the speakers. There is a microphone here, so... Shall we give the old vocal cords a try? Sung since I got sick, but let's give it a shot. To show. Well, the door seemed to be keyed to the musical notes from Nora's music box. Huh. Interesting. Wonder if Harry had the same note, had to play the same notes. Or if his were unique to him. So let's head inside. This feels like hallowed ground. No, it just feels like the inside of a stone structure. Where's the purple light coming from?
More murals. Are they bathing him in black ooze? Black ooze. Let's see what our log says. When I got in front of the mic, the song from the music box came into my head and then into my voice. With a thunderous sound, the temple rebuilt itself right in front of my eyes and the door opened. It was weird, but I know that was the right song. The temple door leads to a spiral hallway with murals on the walls. Oh, we forgot this part. I managed to turn the power on, but the electric current knocked me out cold. And then I had the strangest vision. A desert filled with the skeletons of odd sea creatures. And our house in, the, in Inglewood was floating there. I found my music box inside. But now it was playing music. I can't get the tune out of my head. The vision was so vivid, more than a dream, somehow. And that song, I feel it's connected to the island somehow. More of the symbols down there. His hands are changing, like in my dream. Yes, he's got fish hands now, yeah. Just like when you jumped into the ocean after you found the Everhart camp. Look at those spots. They look like mine. So these murals would seem to apply that when you bathe in the black ooze, it, it like mutates you into like a fish and you got black spots. Now he's some sort of man fish? Yes, a merman it would seem. Fish of every size and shape. So this would imply that the black ooze has mutagenic properties, essentially, and turns people into fish. Again, that music box with the mermaid figure in it is becoming quite relevant, you might say. This looks like the same kind of elevator that was in the campsite. Upper floor, tunnel, ground floor, another elevator mechanism. These patterns look too familiar. Common patterns in fishes. Yes. Just like on your arms, Nora. She sounds worried for him, I think. Harry's been up there for three days now and he isn't responding. What did he find? If I could go up. Up there. Fish head. Hmm. Looks like another elevator. Where is this taking me? Looks like I'm inside the giant fish head that I saw from below. Yes, it's, it's a very large cavern inside. What do we have here? Complex pattern. One, two, three, and four with diamonds in them in, different, in the different quadrants. The elevator took me to the second level. I'm amazed about this. Technology. The civilization used the black ooze for everything. The upper room is an impressive hollow in the fish head, decorated with murals with intricate figures. It seems that Harry discovered that those symbols were words and he spent a long time trying to find their meaning. Harry used an ancient elevator to climb to the top of the temple, but he didn't come back down for days. What did he find up there? Harry threw a bottle against the wall. Was it because he was frustrated for not deciphering this? Or because of what he discovered when he did? A broken liquor bottle. Is this Harry's? Uh, he hates booze. What's this? The symbol is circled. It says water animal above it. Harry marked this symbol for a reason. I'd better write it down. Harry looks disoriented, irritable, and confused. He's never been a drinker. Not even before this prohibition. Not even before prohibition.
More murals, more symbols. So pressing that center button rotates the white diamond. All right, we're collecting images and more murals here. Let's uh, run around quickly and collect the rest of them. Well, she is an art teacher, so I mean, but she, man, she is a fast sketcher, let me tell you that. <laughs> All right, let's see what else we got here. It's amazing how words and symbols can keep their meaning after thousands of years. Apparently, they somehow deciphered that this one means life, alive. It's like a leaf or something. A growing plant. We have something over here. I've seen this symbol in the murals several times. I guess it can be applied to both water and black ooze. So this one's made liquid, water, or fluid. All right, we got a little uh, workspace set up here. Let's see if uh, we can't figure this one out. Well, this one was easy, I think. Transformation, evolution. Got another Harry's notes. So I'm gonna save that for just a minute. God's blood. Does, does this mean that, is this related to me somehow, to, to my disease? Those who have God's blood are transformation, destined, inevitable into a water plus animal to eternal life, live forever. So would the black ooze be like God's blood, perhaps? So if those who are exposed to or bathed in God's blood are destined to transform into a water animal and live forever? Very peculiar. So that's how you mark the symbol's orientation. Rotating the north in the wheel causes the symbol to change quadrant. I'm starting to understand this language. Eternal plus light. This one was really hard to figure out. Good job, Harry. Eternal, infinity, forever. Well done, Harry. Boy, am I lucky that you did the hard part of figuring things out. So word A plus word B equals a new word. Their language works by combining different symbols to create a new one. Ideograms. Okay, so this one are a combination of symbols in these different quadrants, like this one is God's blood. Number two is uh, destined inevitable transformation. Number four is eternal life. And number three is water animal. John McCormack's Dear Old Pal of Mine, a favorite song. Well, my dear old pal, pal of mine is an actual song. It dates from like World War I. Very popular. Anyway. Let's uh, read Harry's letter here. My dear old pal, Nora. I wish I could write something else. But a long time ago, I promised you I would never lie to you. So here goes. There is no cure for your illness. What you carry in your blood is changing you, and it will keep changing you until it's done, whatever that means. There is nothing we can do to stop it. My dear old pal, my partner, the love of my life, I am so sorry. I've made so many mistakes. All those deaths because of me. Frank, DeWitt, Roy. All for nothing. 
Maybe Teharo is right. Maybe we can return to the beach and build a raft to get back to Papieti. Maybe in less than a month, I could be back. There's no cure? But... but he didn't finish the letter. What did you do, Harry? Where are you? I know for sure that you didn't go back home, so what... What do I do now? Are you still on the island? I have to find you. All right, so apparently Harry has kind of reached a point of despair. There is no cure for whatever Nora's illness is. All right, so pushing that button rotates the north in those symbols. So looking at our notes, hmm. I'm scared to put this down in writing, lest it be true. Harry seems sure that there's no cure for my illness. In a vague, unfinished letter, he says my body will keep changing until the end. But what end is Harry talking about? Death? So, this puzzle is somewhat notorious. It's actually really easy, but the clues in the notes take some time to figure out. And it's, it's a bit obscure. It's not very well explained out. And it's hard to put, connect the dots, so to speak. So a lot of people had trouble on this. And indeed, it took me a good long while to really figure this out. Um, eventually, I just kind of, uh, I, I kind of figured it out. And let me see if I can try to explain it. But initially, one of my thoughts was that you would need to like kind of translate these symbols on the wall. But, uh, you know, again, because <laughs> I'm a former Myst series player, so I tend to overthink things, you know. I thought, you know, pushing this button would rotate things, so you needed to, like, form sentences or something. Like, with these, these symbols, you needed to translate these symbols, and in between here, you needed to match this symbol up somehow with this, so it formed a complete sentence or whatever. No, you don't need to do any of that. Yeah, again, overthinking it. So... Here's what you do. At the bottom here, this shows you each quadrant, okay? One, two, three, and four. Uh, okay, so, and on each mural, you'll notice that the symbol is in a certain place. So like it says, like it shows here, this symbol here would be in quadrant number four, okay? And the symbol shows up in different places. So what you need to look at is you need to look at the symbol in the mural and find where that symbol shows up in each of these quadrants, so to speak. So if we look at the one for transformation, those two dots, the only place those two dots show up is in quadrant two. What we need to do is we need to rotate the the star here the the north here we're going to call it like the north star okay and i think other people do as well so we need to rotate we need to push the button so the north star is oriented so that this symbol over here in the transformation symbol where the transformation symbol is located would be in quadrant 2 in relation to the north star okay so in other words for this one we need to push it once and it'll rotate till it's at the 3 o'clock position and then that reorients it so that north is up here this way, and the north star is therefore in quadrant two. As you can see, we already did it. So let me just push it again. So it originally started here. That's where north is, okay? But we know that it only appears, transformation only appears in quadrant two right here. So we need to orient it so this becomes north. There. So these, that if you tilt, turn your head now, this is north, and this is quadrant two, this is one, and this is three and four. So we can go back and do it to the other ones here. So here we have the symbol for liquid. Okay, And if we look down here at this key at the bottom of these notes, 
it appears in quadrant one and quadrant three. Notice how they're, you know, the symbols are kind of combined. So you got to look for each individual element. So in this case, liquid. So liquid appears in quadrant one and three, yeah, as we see. So we need to rotate it so that liquid is in quadrant one and three. In this case, it already is. So we don't need to touch this one. Okay, so it's in the appropriate places. Going over here, we have the symbol for life. Life appears in quadrants one, three, and four here down on the key. So we need to rotate this so that these uh, stars here, right, show up in the proper quadrants. So quadrant two has to be blank. So we need to rotate this one basically 180 degrees so that north, the north star is down here. And this will be quadrant two, this will be quadrant one, and three, and four. So we need to rotate it down to the six o'clock. So that should be it. Okay, so quadrant two is blank, there's one, and there's quadrant three, and there's quadrant four. And the final one, the eternal symbol, appears in quadrants one, two, and four. So quadrant three, the bottom, the lower left-hand quadrant, needs to be blank. So apparently, we need to, again, like the previous one, we need to ro rotate the north star down until it's on the six o'clock position, leaving this quadrant three blank. This is the right combination. And that is the infamous mural puzzle in this chapter. Yeah, that a lot of people struggled with. Again, it took me a while, and I had to like sort of semi-brute force it, but eventually I figured it out. And I kind of figured it out almost after the fact. I'm like, oh, I see. So you don't have to translate anything. You just need to rotate the, the north till it, you know, these symbols are in the proper quadrants as shown here, right? Based on these stars. <laughs> I get it. All right, well, the door is open. Let's, let's see what's on the other side. all these bright shining lights I wonder it appears Harry didn't advance any further can't go any further I've tried everything and this isn't working what do I need I followed the sequence correctly in my hand I can't get that thing to work I need to cross the river down there anyway for what so he followed the sequence correctly and my hand I can't get thing a thing to work All right, well, we got some sounds here. There's some uh, buttons here. What is that thing? Is that the outline of a hand? So this is where Harry got stuck. But again, shouldn't we find Harry's body if he got stuck here? I can't go any further. Okay. In any case, there's no turning back now. I have to go ahead and find him and find the answers to the questions I still have. All right, let's see what this does. Those are drums of some sort. Big drum bangs. Uh, I can sing, but I'm awful when it comes to playing music. This is higher pitched. There's a big drum. There's a small drum. Is this the medium drum? Yep. Wrong. Let's try again. All right. This is actually a very easy puzzle to figure out. So you press one of them, and you'll hear a, a response, essentially. An echo, if you will. All you're doing here is playing a game of Simon. You know, like that the, the electronic game where you hit the four colored buttons beep 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 yeah so you just you have to mimic so so if we press the small one 
ignore you idiot just follow the sequence yeah just follow the sequence so you hear the big drum so here's the big drum it wants you to play the big drum okay so then small medium small medium Alright, medium, medium, small. Okay, you notice that the murals are lining up back there. Wrong. Let's try again. Oh, we screwed it up. Alright, well, start over, that's okay. Big, medium, small. Small, big, small. Medium, medium, small, big. Medium, medium, big, big, big. Wow, this technology never ceases to amaze. Well, appears the uh, stones there are reconstructing themselves. Apparently they were covered in black or something. Again, these things respond to sound frequencies, so we have the symbols in the back there. of God's blood and inevitable eternal life water animal. So maybe we can stick our hand in this thing now. Harry said it didn't work for him, so it shouldn't work for me either. Unless there's something different about my hand. Anyway, Nora, you know what you've got to do. 